Yo, what is up guys? Eslis Gaming here, back with another video. And for this video, we are going to do the Bethel Special Achievement. So for this achievement, I brought my Any Ripsa once again, together with my Fekka and Iop. So for the uh, achievement, you um, basically cannot kill any of the, uh, the monsters. At least not with the Necronix on them. Um, you can kill them. But they won't get revived, so there's not really a point in doing that. So, um, what I'm doing here is uh, basically going full close combat and bringing my enemy Ripsa to heal. Because heals are really important for this achievement. And I'm going to rush the monolith, uh, killing it as quickly as possible so I can then kill the boss. And trying to um, tank the other side mobs here, basically. So, starting positions, uh, as you see here, um, Iop is, is full strength. Fekka is actually in the chance set, but then changing up the shield and using the berry belt daggers. Uh, and he is full int, obviously. So, Panda is going to rush in uh, turn one, um, trying to get the, the dragon away. Um, because if you throw it away and then push it, it will get the heavy state. Uh, and then once it has the heavy state, it will it will not be able to pull towards you. But I didn't have the AP left to push the dragon and then Necronix the boss. So I chose to Necronix the boss. So I was not able to push the dragon. So next up, my team is going to rush in, uh, getting closer to the monolith. Obviously, I will be taking a lot of damage from the other mobs because uh, I cannot kill them. So the Fekka will jump in and push the dragon. But keep in mind that it will take a full turn until you can push the dragon again. Which basically means that the panda will not be able to push the dragon. So I have to keep that in mind. Which screws up a little bit of my plan. But yeah, it is what it is. So Iop decides to erode the monolith because of the shield later on i've learned that you can actually unbewitch the shield which i didn't know so that's why i usually play with the erosion um yeah but yeah to avoid the dragon um i placed a panda wasta next to it and basically from here on now i'm just going to do as much damage on the monolith as possible Once the monolith is dead, the uh, the dragon will be useless. You don't have to uh, waste time on that anymore. And you will get an allied dragon. Um, the allied dragon can only do about 800 damage on the boss every single turn. With some buffs from, for example, the eye up, the pandas brewing. And maybe the even the accumulating glyph, you can get up to like a thousand, maybe even twelve hundred, depending on which classes you play. So it will take a lot of turns for the dragon to actually kill the boss. And during this time, you're gonna get some erosion, of course. And all you can do is heal your team, and there's nothing else really you can do. It's just a matter of trying to get the boss like gone as, as quick as possible. Um but yeah, here I actually made a mistake. So I was actually planning on throwing uh, the dragon away and pushing it. But I accidentally um, threw the suck gunner away instead of the dragon. So the dragon is now in my face over here, which sucks really. Also, if you end like a certain amount of cells away from an enemy, they get like a certain buff. I think the... Um, the other guy, not the Sun Gunner, but the other guy can actually... I think the Drow Hurl, he can go invisible if you um, end your turn too far away from it. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I accidentally <laughs> um, didn't uh, get rid of the dragon. So here my Fekka does release on the dragon. So at least it cannot pull on me. Um, Iop is wrathing and killing the Monolith. So turn 3... The monolith is gone. So the dragon doesn't uh, really bother me at this point anymore. So the boss has six and a half thousand HP. I am going to do about 900 damage on average, I think. 
So let's see how much damage the dragon does here. I have brewing, but nothing else on the dragon. Um, keep in mind, if you walk through the glyph, you can lose AP or MP. But might screw you over. So here the dragon does 831 damage. That is with brewing alone. So I do try to buff it with my eye up. But other than that, maybe on average I'm doing like 900 damage. So it will take me about, I don't know, like 8 turns. Maybe 9 turns to kill the boss. So in this meantime, you have to stay alive. So the any rips I actually use the vial to buff myself shields instead of AP. I don't really need the AP at this point anymore. I just need to protect myself. Uh, I also don't need to um, uh, end my turns too far away from the enemies to avoid buffing them MP and all that kind of stuff. So um, here I actually got a subscriber while recording a video. Uh, I wasn't streaming, so that's kind of kind of funny. So thank you if that was you. Um, in the meantime, I am uh, just trying to get the other uh, side mobs low on HP. So that once I kill the boss, then I can finish them off quickly. And Panda tanking the, the mobs as well. Making sure that the dragon um, is able to hit the boss. So that was 1300 damage um, on a crit, which is really, really nice. So um, yeah, I'll just let the video play out right here. Because there's nothing more really to add on this fight. Other than the fact that every single turn I'm trying to heal up and protect my team. And you'll see at the end of the video that once the boss is dead, I kill the other mobs as well. I think I even killed one of them before I kill the boss. It will get revived, but it's not really that big of a deal because once the boss is dead, you can just finish the mobs off. Um, also, I think if you kill the boss, the achievement uh, is already a success, so you cannot fail it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions regarding this fight, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a great day, and see ya.